Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Raider. This lesson is for economics, uh, quality of life. And today what we're going to be looking at is how to format the final quality of life innovations proposal. And the key question is to, con is to consider our transitions from one paper to the next and to ensure that every single part of the proposal logically builds off the previous paper. Uh, this opening question is a very famous quote from a 19th century philosopher, Johann von Goethe. And he says, knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. So for those of you who are entering the competition, it is really important to keep this in mind because you really want to have an effective implementation component of the project, whether that means uh, developing a very uh, well-informed website, contacting school officials, contacting election officials, creating a really good petition, so on and so forth. All right, so how do we actually organize this final proposal? So in the Google document, there are very clear formatting steps to make sure that every single component of your proposal is done the way that it should be. In addition, there is the webinar that was posted by the WISE Foundation, which if you have not watched yet, I would recommend that you watch for helping to organize the final proposal uh, later this week we will begin uploading the proposals to the reviewer platform. There is a video for that as well, and that will be posted on Thursday. That'll be something for you to work on Thursday, Friday, and into Monday, uh, May 4th, for the submission deadline to the uh, WISE Foundation. All right, so after everything's organized and your table of contents is done, I would recommend doing a final read through the entire proposal, revise, rewrite, any sections of the proposal that are incomplete at this point or that were too much. So for example, you'll see if your background paper is five pages, you will need to pare it back down to four pages, regardless of whether or not you're entering the competition. I do want to hold you all accountable to that component. Likewise, be sure to read the last few sentences of each paper to ensure a smooth transition from one part of the proposal to the next part. So these are the required sections of the final proposal. You have the summary paper, which should not exceed one page. It can really be done in one paragraph. That would be perfectly fine. The background research paper can only be four pages. It cannot exceed four. Uh, the research and analysis paper on average can be three to four pages. If it's five, it's okay. Uh, if that is the case, you'll probably want to not skip another page to go to the next section. You'll want to bunch all the sections together so that you do not exceed the 15 page uh, total. So if you work in Microsoft Word uh, for the final project, if you have that at home, you will insert a page break. I'll show you how to do that on Thursday. You'll start on page one, your proposal and page 15. Everybody else, you'll start on page three and it'll end on page 17. These are the other components to the paper itself, and you should have all of your appendices for your Google spreadsheets in the final paper. So this is another copy. You've seen this in previous recordings and previous lessons of a table of contents from the very beginning to the very end. So this is organizing the proposal from the WISE Foundation itself. Again, you want to keep in mind that you have all the required uh, components, that you're using APA citations, and that you do have a reference page. This is the same directions that you saw before, again, keeping in mind the steps to keep uh, for your proposals. Some words and phrases just to keep in mind, we've had some lessons on this before in the past when we've done some uh, minor editing. These are words that tend to be overused in many student papers I've noticed year after year. So it's just something to look for, whether it be within the writing itself or as part of your sentence starters. Uh, it's, it's, it's okay to have a this means that sentence starter every once in a while, but you don't want every single sentence that explains or emphasizes something to begin with that you want to use your transitional phrases. For example, for instance, in particular, uh, nevertheless, moreover, furthermore, so on and so forth. Okay. And the summary slide, uh, it's a very simple question. Just keep in mind how you want to ensure that there are smooth transitions from one part of your paper to the next. And again, big picture today, use this time to work on formatting the proposal. For those of you entering the competition, you should have already shared the proposals with me. I will work with you one-on-one, -on -one, uh, especially Thursday, Friday, and Monday. I will I'll try my best to schedule one-on-one uh, -on -one conferences, either through Google Hangout or through a cell phone conversation to make sure that your proposals are where you want them to be so they can be as competitive as possible. All right, everybody, hope you have a nice day, and we'll check back next time.